I'm going to be giving you 10 unique things you should know about Israeli culture as a traveler. Now, whether you are interested in traveling to Israel for a short period of time or whether a long period of time, whether you plan to come and work or study, and whether you have family connections or friends, you will get most out of your journey if you started it off with some background knowledge of Israel's culture, land, and people. And Israel has a lot to offer, but I have condensed them into 10 big things that you need to know before you jump in to Israel. My name is Robert and welcome to the Baricho Farm. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button, the notification bell, because I'm going to always be giving you the updates, every bit of information that you need to know about Israel before you board a plane to come and have fun. My name is, let's dive right in. Number one, Israel is not inexpensive. Now, budget accordingly, Israel is known as the most wallet-friendly destination in general. And right now, the official currency of Israel, which is the shekel, is strong against both the US dollar and the euro. Now, luckily, hugging is not only expected in Israel culture, but encouraged. So, if you visit any of the many famous outdoor markets, you should be able to save yourself a few shekels here and there. And still though, it's best to be aware that prices will not be cheap and there is a culture of expected tipping. So you have to be tipping those who give you. Number two, Shabbat is honored. Now, from sundown on Friday to sundown on Sunday, on Saturday, many businesses shut down to observe Shabbat. Now, this can include restaurants, public transports, and shops. Yes, even offices. You know, what that means, the weekend starts on Thursday night. But you have to keep in mind that Jewish religious holidays are also widely celebrated in the same way. In the same so, way. In case you come to Israel when there are Jewish holidays, expect all this to be the same as the weekend, as the Shabbat. Point three. The dress can be conservative. Now, I'm not obviously talking about Tel Aviv, but when you're in Israel, you'll mostly likely also want to explore some of the historical rich religious areas of the country and in these areas like the old city of Jerusalem for example no matter your gender you will want to wear modest full coverage clothing in order to signify your respect for the solemnity of that experience so there is where you need to Think as a person and say, I need to dress like this. Point number four. Safety and security is taken seriously. Now, military service is mandatory for all Israel citizens. And as such, there is a noticeable military presence. So, foreigners who are unused of this can feel a bit worried at first. As the military personnel are armed, but... See this, Israel has an extremely low crime rate. You have no need to worry. Now, you can definitely expect to be questioned extremely at the airport, though you will want to give yourself plenty of time on travel dates. Questions might seem very stern, also because the Israel culture is very straightforward, which leads me to the next point. Point number five. People are straightforward. Now, depending on what your home culture is like, Israelis can come across a bit blunt in their language. 
I promise you, they are not being rude. Usually it's just that their notices built into a lot of other cultures are simply not part of the Israel culture or mannerism. So for an Israeli being extremely polite can even come across as this ingenious Israel is actually likely to be one of the homiest places you will ever visit. Number six, the official language is Hebrew. There are a number of commonly used languages in Israel. While Hebrew is the official language, there are also many other languages like Arabic and Russian speakers across the country. Now, the Israel culture is generally very accommodating and most people also speak English. So, you don't have to worry too much about getting communication or communicating around. Number seven, public transport is great. Yeah, we have to give credit for that. Transportation can be one of the most difficult aspects of life to navigate when you are in a new place. So it should come as a relief to know that public transport in Israel is largely reliable and on time. Now, there are trains and buses as well as private taxis. Getty Taxi is the app most commonly used in order for a taxi on your phone. And the Monit Shalut, which are shared taxis, are popular. So, the tail on fan or a bike share system is also convenient. Now, number eight, smoking inside is pretty normal. <laughs> now this is where you will meet a young kid who is smoking but it's normal a kid of 12 is smoking it's normal there will be a culture shock for most travelers and immigrants to most countries smoking is permissible mostly in designated outside areas only and maybe it tends to be prohibited anywhere near where people are eating or but in co in contrast smoking is still widely allowed inside the bars in israel though sticker policies were inst instated in 2019 now it's still a somewhat recent change so be conscious that you are entering a relatively smoke friendly atmosphere number nine summers can get very very hot now like desert hot if you are not planning to live there for a year or more it might be worthwhile to consider planning your time in israel during the winter month november through march although summer does does have plenty to offer now most areas of the world would consider even winter temperatures in Israel mild, though it can also be rainy. Now, summers are hot and often humid with lots of direct sunlight. However, if you're mainly interested in the beaches of Tel Aviv, summer might be the perfect time for you. Now, these are the only few quick facts about Israel culture to help you prepare for what will be one of the most exciting and rewarding experience for your life. Now, visit the Barija farm and get all those information about Israel before you board your plane. My name is Robert and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, then make sure you click on that subscribe button and let's grow this family. Peace.